Alright, what's up my fellow YouTubers? Grant, otherwise known as Mr. Octopi here, and I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Logitech G710 Plus mechanical keyboard. Uh, my friend Alex here, he just uh, bought it just today, and he thought, hey, let's help my friend unbox it, and he's a cool guy for doing that. Cat, what are you doing? I guess the cat's gonna help us. Okay, so I'm not too familiar with this, but I'll just kind of go around and show the basics. So, I mean, it uh, uses brown switches, which is sort of like blue switches, which I have an example here I'll show later. Uh, it has a tactile feel, but it doesn't have the really loud clicky sound. So if you didn't want to get like a loud keyboard because you thought, hey, mechanical switches are too loud, try like a browns, or I think blacks are kind of like that too. Browns are something else. But anyway, uh, it's the basics if you want to open up those. Uh, has... I'll just go over it. It has the brown switches uh, along with the basic 104 amount of keys and then six uh, programmable, uh, programmable whatever macro keys that you can use that you can adjust in game or anything else. Uh, I've heard some really good things about this keyboard, so it'd be cool to be able to check it out. But as you can see here, let's take this out of the box. Oop. Two letters. There we go. That is a nice USB. So, is this a pass through here? Yeah. Yeah, it has a pass-through pass on the back, meaning it actually has a dedicated port on the computer that you can use, instead of just leeching off the keyboard. And while he's opening that, you got your manual, important information. I think it comes with a one-year warranty, right? Actually, three. When I checked online, three-year limited warranty, but nice. that's still very impressive for, especially a company competing with someone like Razer. Exactly. Now, three is a good deal. You have to register for that, right? You do have Probably. to register for almost any warranty, but that's Logitech. When I registered my old Logitech keyboard, it was ridiculously simple, and I actually somehow registered it twice when I went twice. back later to update a driver, and they prompted me, so I figured, why not? Okay. And for whatever reason, they accepted it. Nice. They never asked for a serial number or anything, so more <laughs> so power to us. <laughs> Basic keyboard. Uh, this... This is some nice USB right here. Oh my god. Really thick feeling, nice connections. These are not going to snap off on you or anything. And then you got your pass through on the back there, along with, before I get to the keys, the switch here. Uh, it's cool because as like, I think this has is cable. cable management actually for a headset. For a headset? So you can, well, the, as you notice, the width of this is too big. More. You can get up, you can feed your headset through the back through that there and out the front so it comes right out from under your keyboard if I'm not mistaken. That's really nice. And there's even a little groove in the wrist rest. That's cool. Yeah. One thing I really like about this wrist rest is that it seems like they're using pretty decent plastic here, but it's just nice feeling. It actually has these little pads on the bottom so it doesn't slide around because it sucks when your keyboard slides around everywhere. Yeah. And the plastic tabs, I've never had an issue with my old keyboard, they, or my old Logitech, they're exactly the same. Yeah. Sort of style, and I've never had a problem. So if you want to... Let's see how this feels in comparison. Let's get the feet down. Oh, yeah. And then those are... There are no rubbers. No rubbers the, in the feet, but, but... That's still fine. Still high quality. Let's see, let's see if I type out... Let's see, type out my name. This is gonna take some getting used to, but <laughs> so as you can hear, it's not really. I'll pull out this. I brought my Black Widow, which has blue switches. So if I kind of clicky here, and then right. those, it has. It still has that kind of clicky feel to it, but it doesn't have the clicky sound to it. So that's pretty nice if you want to have a less clicky keyboard. And obviously, anything mechanical is so much better than membrane, just because it lasts forever. Uh, each of these switches. Um, quickly before we take off the key, you have your. This is a volume wheel, right? Yeah, you have your little media control stuff here for music, yeah. and actually even works with uh, the Windows Media Player built into Windows. I found that's nice. I've actually found as I've went. I mean, it's a bit frustrating because there have been times I've went to hit space bar, and I start wondering why isn't it pausing. Then I realize, oh, my keyboard has a pause and play button. I wonder if that'll work, and it does. Boom. So are these membrane or are these? Uh, I think all the, everything here at the top is membrane. Okay, but that's, that's not, fine. That's not an issue. So this is your Windows key lock, I assume. Uh, your your program will so you have three different settings that you can do with these keys down here, which are mechanical as well. Yeah, yep. they feel like it. And then uh, you can set it on the fly. This has full backlit key lighting, right? Yep. Can all it? white backlit. Okay, white backlit. That's nice. And I think these are all laser etched, meaning that won't wear out or anything. And then you got. 
Uh, okay, so it's the same keys, but you got different color for the, the wazzed keys. And actually, keys. another interesting feature, the WASD has independent lighting switch. Really? So you can actually turn off the rest of your keyboard's backlighting, except for those, just, except for those four. That's and nice. I also would assume these. 